Thank you very much for the invitation. You. Good to see you. Uh, let me first ask you about this Macron trip to Moscow in the coming days. Well, you know what? First, how are the people in Ukraine? These, this miserable uh, campaign of bombing of uh, infrastructure, civilian infrastructure, plunging the country into the dark and the cold as winter sets in. How's morale? How are people handling this? The situation is extremely difficult. It's like a real humanitarian catastrophe. I'm sitting here in your studio. My wife and two my kids are in Odessa without no electricity and sometimes was without water. You can imagine how millions of Ukrainians in what situation they are. And the winter, yes, the winter already here. So that is a very difficult. But I want to tell you that this hope of Putin to make Ukrainians to be afraid of him, he completely failed. People are furious, absolutely. And we are ready to suffer these months, this winter, in order to prevent our children to be next years again in the war. We want to finish this war. We want to liberate our country. That's what we want. And we are prepared to suffer if it will be needed. Fortunately, it is needed. But we need to finish this war victoriously. Mm. I, I just want to follow up on that. So I was there last in, in April and was struck by that spirit, that, that sense that Ukrainians are not going to submit. Given how long the war has lasted now and the terrible cost to Ukrainians, not just in the civilian infrastructure, but in deaths, combat deaths and civilian deaths. Do you see any flagging of that will on the battlefield? It's one thing, perhaps, Odessa, you know, Kiev, Lviv, where I've been as well. But out there on the battlefield, do you think Ukrainians are saying, can we get out of this, please? If there's a way out, let us out. First of all, thank you very much to you and to ABC for all covering what's going on in Ukraine. And my answer is definitely and clear. We are not ready to give up any inch of our territory. We are ready to fight for our independence and our life uh, as long as we will need. And also for our values, because it's about our general values. If one country can invade like this another country and take what they want, what the world is where we live in, it can't go this way. So this is our common war, and this will be our common victory together with the United States. And we are very thankful for all support we are receiving. It's vital for us in our fight. But it's, once again, it's a common fight. It's the fight for the whole free world. And we are absolutely going to win this war. You know, it's a, it's a common fight, uh, but we have a different set of politicians who are going to take charge in the House of Representatives in January. Republicans will take control. Uh, there are a lot of Republicans who have said, look, it's enough. We're giving enough money to Ukraine. Some of them say we not another dollar, right? Uh, Hey, is that why you're here, uh, to, to try and make the case that you're making so powerfully here to Republican leaders? And B, are you concerned that there will be a different kind of U.S. support? You know, I, just during these two days, I've met a number of uh, U.S. senators, congressmen, Senator Brown, Danes, uh, uh, Representative Palmer just now, recently Hudson, Aderholt, and others. And I can assure you that I see the full support. I see that these people, uh, you mentioned Republicans, but I'm sure it's bipartisan, they understand that this is extremely, even from the like pragmatic point of view, this is extremely effective uh, investment of the United States. Because investing three, a little bit more than 3% of U.S. military budget to Ukrainian army, Ukrainian army defeated Russia and like destroyed at least 50% of Russian military capacity. And Russia is the second biggest rival for the United States after China. So like uh, before February 24, there were three superpowers in the planet. Mm. Now there are two. Mm. Good point. I, finally and, and, and quickly, the question most people have, how does this end and when? It will end victoriously for us and the whole free world. When? It depends from the support we will receive. More weaponry we will receive now. The quicker everything will finish, it will be better for the whole world. So that's why I'm here. That's why I address American congressmen, senators, officials. And that's why I address to American people. Please, keep support us. And we will finish our job. And the free world would win. Alexei, thank you very much for being with us. And good luck to you and to your people. Thank you very much.